All right, this is the wall system that you're gonna build. And this is really just kind of a sampling of a uh, wall framing. There's several ways to uh, frame a wall. <clears throat> and um, it really just depends on who you're working with um, as to how that should be done. Now, certain things have to be done. Of course, you have to have a wall that's gonna stand up um, and what have you. And there's certain features on here that make this wall want to stand up. But basically what you're gonna be able to, you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to draw this and you're gonna have to name all the parts. We got a double top plate, which is this two boards right here, one on top of the other. They're gonna have a three and a half inch overhang on one side and a three and a half inch recess on the other side. Cripples, these are your cripples, your short studs that are above the header or below the window seal. Same here with the door above the header. All your studs are 26, I mean 26, 16, that's a 16, looks like a 26, but it's really a 16, 16 inch on center. Uh, we have a header in green here. Now you're not gonna color yours. I'm just doing this so you can um, you can discern what, the, what this is. Uh, trimmer is gonna be the board that sits right up under the header, right here, need something to point with, and goes all the way down to the, uh, the sole plate. So I've got a trimmer on each side. Another name for the trimmer is a jack stud. Um, here's another uh, example for a window. You got a header, just like you did the door. And then of course, you've got trimmers. The trimmers go down to the window seal right here. This is the window seal. And those trimmers sit right on top of that window seal. And then of course, the cripples up under the seal to hold the seal up. Um, out beside here are king studs. Okay, I think that's one. I did not label on here, I need to do that. But uh, out here, king studs, um, and don't pay attention to the thickness here. That was a mistake in my drawing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, and so you got regular studs inside, um, right there, studs. And the size is gonna be 14 foot wide. Tall. So eight foot, one and a half inches tall. And that's from the very top to the very bottom, okay? Um, now, of course, code says we have to have an, um, an eight foot ceiling and we do it at something over eight foot. You know, some people may do it a different size, uh, but it'll be something very similar to this. But there'll be floor material inside the house and there'll also be material on the ceiling um, that will take up some space. And we just want to make sure that we have eight foot ceiling heights and um, the window. The window is the rough opening is 30 eight inches rough opening rough opening means that this is just the window that's actually going to go in there it might be a little bit smaller than that and this is just to make sure we have enough room to get it in there and to level it and make it all look straight and everything and they'll use other pieces of uh, timber to to uh, shore up the window so that it stays in place uh, what we call shims there will be shims that will be placed between the window frame and the trimmer and the header and everything else. Um, but 38 inches, which again, is gonna be over the size that this really needs to be. Typically for a bedroom window, it'll be about 36 inches wide, give or take a few inches. Um, <clears throat> and that of course is by code because bedrooms windows also double as emergency exits. Um, the door, and it's also 38 inches wide. And by code, of course, if this is an outside door facing the outside of the house, uh, let's say it's the front door, but code tells us we have to have at least one door that is 32 inches wide. And it used to say 36 inches wide, um, and typically people are still gonna want a 36 inch wide door. Now the code itself just tells us we can't have anything smaller than 32 inches. Um, but when you're designing that one front door, if not more out, you know, doors that face the outside uh, need to be 36 inches wide. Um, and of course, you're gonna provide a 38 inch space to be able to fit that door in. Uh, height, the door height, um, again, there is a code that governs that and we need to have um, six foot, eight inches high uh, for the door. Six foot, eight inches high. And I've got here 82 inches, which 82 inches uh, rounds out to six foot, 10 inches. Again, we have that extra space to allow for the door frame and 
and just to make sure that we uh, get all the clearance that we, we have to have. Window, um, this one is 64 inches, and of course window heights can vary. Um, the code tells us that we have to have at least five foot seven inches or square feet, I'm sorry, 5.7 square feet of open space for someone to escape out of that window. And when they say that, they're really only talking about the bottom half here because you know windows typically are, you know, they have the bottom part that opens up, that usually slides up in many cases. Not always, but just in many cases. So the opening space would be measured right here for the window. So again, you know, 64 inches is what we did this particular window at, 38 inches wide. Uh, we'll get more into that a little bit later about uh, having windows and doors uh, measured specifically for a particular type of door. And let's say, oh, did I mention the sole plate right here? Sole plate, window sill, trimmers, okay. So that's it. I'm gonna show you how to draw it in the next video. Okay, let's draw a wall. And I'm gonna start out just by drawing the bottom of the uh, sole plate across my paper. Now when you put this on your paper, on your large paper, your 12 by eight or 12 by 18, keep in mind that you're gonna put other drawings on there as well. You're gonna put a wall down here and then we're gonna put some detailed drawings um, up on the top and maybe over here to the left side. So for now, for the wall, just make sure you're toward the bottom, not all the way at the bottom, but toward the bottom of your paper. Make sure you leave plenty of space between your border and where you start drawing. And then kind of over to the right. Same thing, leave space between the border and what you're drawing. Um, plenty of space, because you're also gonna do some dimensioning and things like that. But anyway, I've got my uh, bottom line of my sole plate. And I want my wall to be 14 feet wide. So I'm gonna find 14 feet in the half inch scale right there, and then come over here and mark zero. All right. Next, I am going to draw my vertical studs, just the outside portion of those vertical studs. Okay, now I wanna mark eight foot, one and a half inches. So I'm gonna basically set my scale at the one and a half inch mark and then find eight feet, which is right here. Okay, so that's as tall as we want our wall. Now I'm going to put the thickness of my uh, members. Um, and I'm just going to measure an inch and a half. There's gonna be two plates up top here, called a double top plate. There's gonna be two plates up here. So I'm gonna measure inch and a half. Okay, so measure inch and a half, place a mark. From that mark, I'll measure another inch and a half. It's kind of hard to do, but just get it the best you can. And then down at the bottom, I'm gonna measure an inch and a half. And then go ahead and draw these out. That one got off a little bit there. Okay, and then on this top plate, this double top plate, I'm gonna draw part of it out an additional three and a half inches. This one I'm going to set back three and a half inches. All right, and then I'm going to tidy things up a little bit. Uh, one thing about drawing uh, framing plans like this one is they can get very confusing quick. So you'll want to do a little bit of erasing as you go. Now I'm going to measure an inch and a half for the thickness of my studs. OK. 
Okay. And I'm going to use a template. I've got one that I've already had here. And this is already measured out at 16 inches. I'm going to mark all of those. Okay. Now I want to measure the, uh, slide it over and get the inch and a half thickness. Okay, now that I'm this far, I've got all my studs in, and it's easier just to go ahead and place all your studs. That way, uh, your cripples will all be aligned properly. And from here, I'm going to cut out the space that for my window and my door. Now, along a wall, a window and a door is basically just measured to the center of that. And using the edge of the wall, I want to measure four feet to get the center four down to zero to get the center of that window and I'm also going to go ahead and mark it and I'm going to draw it a longer line because I'm dealing with a lot of lines here and it's easy to get them confused so if I do that then I know I've got my center line the the door is going to be 10 feet from the wall so 10 here's the center here's 10 same thing, mark the center. Okay, so I'm gonna make my wall 38, or I mean my, my uh, access 38 inches wide for both of them. So I'm gonna measure, what is half 38, uh, 19, I believe, isn't that right? Something like that, 19. Um, uh, if I'm a half inch scale again. So 19 inches, there is, uh, that's 24. Okay, so one foot mark right here. Um, okay, that's 12, that's 18, and then 19 is one more inch. So basically I'm taking 12, and I add 6 to it, which I know is 18, and then the next one is 19. And that's just how I think. So basically one notch over um, the 6 inch mark here. And I'm going to go ahead and do my window the same way. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a line to represent these so I don't get them confused or mixed up with anything. And it's best to go ahead and do this while they're still fresh. Okay, so those are the extreme left and right of my door. This is my door and my window. Okay, now, the door, we're going to actually bring this line all the way down to the bottom. All right, and then the window, I'm gonna measure the window up 18 inches off the floor. So starting at 12 inches here, then measuring up six inches. Okay, and then remembering where my lines were. Now we got to mark our height for the door, which is six foot ten inches, the rough cut, the rough, rough opening. So we're going to put six foot right here at the very bottom. Six foot, and then I'm going to go into the little inch section here and get up to ten inches. And now that's also going to serve for the top of my window access as well. Okay. Now, I can go and erase everything in between. All right, now I need to finish uh, putting in my trimmers and everything else involved, okay? So, my trimmer, all right, well first, let's do the header. 
it's sometimes easier to separate your trimmers and your king studs and everything out once you have a header. The header will extend an inch and a half beyond the actual hole for the window. And it's gonna be five and a half inches thick because we're gonna use two by sixes. And all I need to do is make one mark at that measurement and I can transfer that all the way over to the door. Okay, so it needs to go again an inch and a half outside that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of extra there, a little bit of extra here. Okay, so now I know where my header is. I can see it plainly. That means what comes under my header is a trimmer. So right here, I'm gonna draw that stud out. And then I'm gonna put what's called a king stud. I'm gonna draw a king stud next to it. That was a little thin. Okay, so there's my king stud. And this one already has a king stud next to it. It kind of naturally fell there from the, the stud that was already there. Okay, in here. And then the king stud. And here I just need a king stud. So now I've got all my studs, my headers, and everything else drawn out. I just need to go back and kind of tidy things up so I can see what's going on. And that is how you draw a wall. And of course, you know how to do everything else. How to do your dimensioning and your, um, your dimensioning and, and height and width and also to the center of your door and window. I don't think that was on the previous one, but I will put it on there so that you can see that. All right, and then from there, that's it. That's how you draw a wall.